Hello and welcome back. We're going to install Java 8 and Git on our local box so that we can fetch our source code of our Spark project from GitHub and run it locally on our laptop. We need to install a Java development kit because Spark is built on top of the Scala programming language, which runs on the Java virtual machine. Also, to run our programs, we we'll use the Python API for Spark. PySpark. PySpark is built on top of the Spark's Java API, so we need the Java development kit to be able to run our programs. First, let's check if Java is installed on your laptop. Here, just launch a command line terminal and type Java version. If you already have Java installed, this command would print out which version of Java is currently being used. If you don't have Java installed on your laptop, or if your Java version is older than 8, let's move on to install Java on your local box. If you already have the desired Java version installed, you can skip this installation step. Here we Google install Java SE. The first entry is the official website to download Oracle's Java development kit. For now, we have to install Java 8. Since Spark does not support Java 9 for the moment, just click on the link. On the Java SE development kit downloads page, accept the license. Click on the corresponding installer that matches your platform. We'll go through the installation process for Linux and Windows. If you have a Mac, the process is similar to one on Windows. If you have a Windows machine, you can skip ahead now. Let's go through the process to install Java on Linux. I'm running a 64-bit Linux, so I should download this one. After the installation is finished, open a terminal so we can finish the process. First, let's be sure we don't have Java installed. Now we have to create a folder to unzip the file we've just downloaded. Usually softwares that don't come with the Linux distribution should be saved under the OPT folder. So let's create JDK folder under OPT. Now let's change to the directory where our Java development kit files was downloaded. In my case, it's the downloads folder. Now we use the tar command to unzip the file under the file we just created. Let's check if the file unzipped correctly. Here it is. Now we have to add that Java runtime environment to our environment variables. First, let's go under the JRE folder on our Java development kit. Let's copy the path to this directory so we can add to our environment variables. To add a new environment variable, we have to edit our .barshareseed file under the home folder. Type export java home equal and paste the path we just copied it. Also, let's add the binaries of the Java runtime environment to our path so we can use the Java commands from the command line. Type export path equal dollar sign path colon dollar sign java home slash bin. Save this file and source it to apply the changes. Now we have Java installed. As a side note, there are easier ways to install Java on Linux, but this depends on the package manager of your Linux distribution. This method that I just told you should work for any distribution. Linux users can skip ahead now to the git installation step.
On Windows, let's be sure we don't have Java installed. Now let's go back to the download page. Since I'm running a 64 bits Windows, this should be the one for me. After downloading the installer, just click on it and follow the steps. Now, let's check if the installation was correct. Open a command prompt and type java version. I have uploaded all the source code for this course to GitHub. To download the source code from GitHub, you need to have Git installed on your laptop. You can check if you have Git installed by opening a command line terminal and typing git dash dash version. If you have Git installed, this command would print out the Git version you have. If you don't have Git installed, let's go to the process of installation. Here we Google download Git. The first entry is the official Git website. Just click on it. Now choose your platform. If you have a Linux machine, the download page just shows you how to download the Git using the package manager for different Linux distributions. You can just follow the steps for the one you have. If you have a Windows or a Mac machine, you have to download the installer. After downloading the installer, click on it and follow the steps. Here, check the option to add git to your path. This will allow you to run git commands on the command line. For the rest, you can just keep the default options. Now let's check if the installation was correct. Open a command prompt and type git dash dash version. Now that we have git installed, let's download the source code. Just open a browser and type https github.com jlee tutorial python spark tutorial. Now we are at the github repository for our spark code. Click the clone or download button which displays the git clone URL for you to download the repository. Then click the clipboard icon to copy the URL to your clipboard. Go back to the terminal and type git clone and paste the URL. Hit enter to download the git repository. After the download is complete, we'll have the Spark tutorial directory under the current directory. And that's it for this lecture, and I'll see you next time.